As we came up on the overpass, all we could see was trucks pointed in all directions. They were just pointed everywhere and they were all on fire. All the fuel trucks were on fire and I ended up with an AK-47 round through both knees and 33 surgeries later, I amputated the left leg, still going to amputate the right leg down the road. There's so many things that are, that hinder my day-to-day -day activities. It's so hard to bend over because I have the, the metal in my back and in my pelvis and everything. And so if I drop something, it's just really difficult. And if I do get down low, sometimes I fall down and then I have trouble getting up. These soldiers went and, and did their duty to keep us all free. And we owe them something back for that. The veterans program that we have here is extremely close to my heart. And seeing them, you know, two years down the road and how different they are and how much they're back to the life they wanted to be leading. I have an incredible job. I'm very lucky. To be able to rescue dogs and then watch them go from coming from a shelter to being trained for several months and then becoming a hero to someone with disabilities is amazing because they change that person's life. When we go to church and we have our, our prayer time, the, my five-year-old loves to raise her hand and say, I pray for my daddy's service dog that he comes soon so my daddy can have help. We're looking for a dog that's very social, that's very confident, um, a very a people-focused dog, a very food-motivated dog, um, because that makes them easier to train. We want them to really be having a good time when they're working, because um, that's gonna lead them to want to repeat these behaviors that they need to do countless times a day. You know, our clients may drop their keys, but they may drop their keys 15 times. Once we start kind of fine-tuning those advanced skills, we really look for a match for them from our client list. We call people in for a second interview at that point, which usually for us is code for, we think we have a dog for you. Um, and they come in, we'll go through the tasks again and let them meet the dog and kind of see what, what the bond is there. I flew in last night, I couldn't sleep. I lay there, I kept thinking, what's it gonna be like? Finally, at six o'clock this morning, I fell asleep. But now we're going to go out and meet, and there you have three of them that they're interested in, um, you know, the, the, for me to have. We're going to go out and see if one of them will match up. Hi. They're just crutches. Justin will be a great, super easy placement. Um, a dog will um, be able to help him in so many ways. I know now, after meeting, being here for the first time, that I can go home, and if I have any problems, they're going to be right there for me and that if the dog has any issues, they're gonna be able to help walk me through it and help train the dog. You know, I'm just excited for the future right now. We have what we think is a very um, awful business model. We have a very expensive product that we give away, but most of our clients have had, you know, such major medical bills or they don't have the kind of money that it would take to get them the help that they need. So we do give the dogs to the clients. It's really the support. We need the financial support. We're completely a charitable organization. We run 100% on donations. We have a wish list on Amazon. You know, you can send collars and leashes and dog toys and anything we don't have to purchase is just, you know, that much more money we can put into providing a dog for another soldier on our waiting list. Most of the people here came for the dogs, but we stay for the people. Um, when, you, when you hear their stories and you see how they're struggling and then you get them, you get them their, the dog, which literally gives them their independence back and, and makes them feel, you know, more able to be a part of the community again. It, that's, that's what makes it all worthwhile for us.